Hey well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. 77 here and welcome back to my new reaction video. You asked for it, so I'm delivering today. As you can see from the title, I'm reacting to Peter Hickman BMW HP4 Race Isle of Man TT with a Chin GoPro camera. So it's an onboard lap, a full onboard lap on the Isle of Man technically. You ask for it, I'm delivering. Just one question, because I thought about, you know, I started playing some racing games as well, so I thought about uh, making some Isle of Man uh, video game videos, like the second part, the newest part, the part that came out last year. So I'm thinking about actually, like, riding a full lap in that, in the video game. I'm thinking about it because that's the only opportunity I have right now. So yeah. Feel free to write uh, to say in the comments what do you think about that and also don't mind me if I just die of overheating while recording this video It's 11 a.m. And I'm already overheating. So uh, I guess I'll just die of hyperthermia Never mind hyperthermia is one thing, but today it's time to react so please out zoom me uh, this way and I guess it's time to start the reaction so, okay, so just let me a moment to put my tone down. Okay, I just don't want it to be too noisy. So, here we are on the Isle of Man. Peter Hickman is about to start his lap. I know this start, I've seen it in the other videos. And he started. And okay, it's a, sun, it's a sunset, right? As you can see, I just want to put it a bit more down. It's a sunset ride and the landscape is beautiful, yeah. Road racing at its finest, literally. Okay, it's, he's going downhill. That's da Downhill moments are the creepiest for me, honestly. In a ride, like, you're going down and you're going way too fast. But this is... This is beautiful, actually. I love this. I love when you're going through... Uh, when you're riding on a road with the rows of uh, trees around. Like, it, it makes such a beautiful scenery. Okay, these roads are actually wide, wide li uh, really. I mean, he went through the crossroad, that's true, but they are wide, for real. And what can I say, except this is beautiful, really. And can I actually see his speed? I'm struggling because the camera is shaking, because this is a GoPro, obviously. So, okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, the fans are chilling behind the... At least behind the concrete fans. I'm, I'm glad they are behind the concrete fans, honestly. And, wow. I can't see his speed, but he's in six gear, so it must be at least uh, at least 250 kilometers an hour, probably even 300. That's like 180 miles. I'm learning about miles because of this video. Like, I started measuring in my head lately. But this is like the fourth or fifth video of me reacting to Isle of Man or road racing content, and I still can't get used to like all of those landscapes around them like look at this he only sees the gray blur but there are pavements there are fences there there is so many dangerous things around this road like no safety procedures but this is really raw racing this is insane and yes it's the bike without the electronics that's something i still didn't get used to because of because i'm watching MotoGP gp mostly he has no ntv electronics like He's fighting his front wheel. He's literally fighting with his own strength. This is insane. At this speed, these forces, this is... And he doesn't even... Does he? I mean, he's got the sun protection on, on his wizard, but still it's... It's there. It's hard to see sometimes, you know? Like, I know of the saying that you see the green blur and the gray blur and you're trying to stay in the gray blur. But if, with the sun it gets probably even worse. Like, you literally can't see anything. You're just going... You're just using your past knowledge of the track, I guess. And okay, what I wanted to say, I'm not wondering about the high average speeds on this track. And that they are much higher than the track racing speeds. It's because the corners are... There aren't many sharp corners. Like, I've seen only one until now. Like, on uh, through that crossroad in the beginning. 
But these are all smaller corners through which you can go with 200 kilometers an hour. But still, this is probably the sport that you need that you need the most skill for. Truly, like I I think that about all of the motorsports, like they are really level above any other sport. But road racing is just another level of motorcycle racing. It's true. And this looks beautiful. And I'm just... I'm enjoying the bikes. The bike sound, like, it's beautiful. The bike sound is truly beautiful. Yes, and the roads are also what what I said in the Isle of Man TT reaction. Like I said that the roads didn't look good, but from this perspective, yeah, they are smooth. They are good. They are really, really smooth. I mean, you you wouldn't be able to ride if the roads weren't smooth. Wow. Well, honestly, when I'm looking at these landscapes, I would definitely love to go on a, to go on a tour around the island once. I would definitely love it. Like the the island looks beautiful. When it's not raining, of course, because I'm I'm not quite the fan of rain. I know that there are people which are, but I'm not the fan of the of the rain. But with this kind of weather, this island just looks mesmerizing. Now look at this moment, this was actually really tough, like, you see him go, uh, going behind his windshield because of the art dynamics, and also, like, he's in this position, and he's yet fighting his steering wheel, he's fighting his... He's fight not the steering wheel, I'm sorry, he's fighting his front wheel. Like he's pushing he's pushing the whole bike down because he has no anti wheel electronics though. This is so hard to do. Like really well. But as I said, the corners aren't that sharp. Like these are mostly 20 degrees to 30 degrees corner, like the normal road corners of course. But still the way they cut them, that's just when you go from the one from the one side to the other side of the road like wow this is really executed to perfection because it really takes a small contact with the pavement to fall so yeah they're really riding on the edge here like look at how close they go to the pavement it's no wonder he broke the he broke the record yes you're uh, you see how much the bike is twitching when he's down and he's on a straight, like, the bike is insanely twitching. And we're, we're lucky that we have a GoPro footage from his uh, chin, because if it was a uh, GoPro footage from the bike, I can just imagine how the footage looks like from that camera, from that camera on the windshield. It's probably so bumpy. Like the recording. Wow. He's going so close to the end of the roads, like literally to the walls. He's going almost for a contact. It's, it's almost for a contact, just enough to avoid it, and also to get the maximum out of the curve and to and and to save as much speed as you can and the momentum. And also, I remember I was talking about tires. Now I get it how their tires survive so long because. You don't, uh, you don't overheat your tires. You don't destroy your tires on this kind of, on this kind of road. Like when you're going mostly straight and with not so many sharp corners, and their cornering isn't, they're not going for a very lean angle in the in the corners. Like they're, they're barely, they're not even angling because they have no traction control, of course. And look at this, he's going, now he's going through the city. Oh, I'm sorry, through the town, don't mind me. And now, when you're at your top speed, when you're on your fastest straight, 
you literally don't see anything anymore. Like now you don't see anything. Like he's just following that. He's probably for following the center line just so he knows where he is, but you don't see anything else. And I love the touch. Uh, I love the touch with all of those stripes on the pavements and on the end of the roads when there are no pavements and and here also like those uh, red and white stripes. I love the touch. He went so close to the people, like they weren't even standing behind anything. They were just standing on a pavement, and he just went there like half a meter away. And honestly, this is the video I'm, I'm enjoying the most because no music, just, just the pure, the pure bike sound, and it's beautiful. And also, uh, they have no info on on their lap time, right? I mean, I don't see any, any that kind of electronics on the on the dashboard. Like they don't, they don't have anything like that. They literally have no clue. They have a clue. They know how fast they're going, of course, but they don't know. They don't have the stopwatch, they don't have the lap time, they don't compare themselves to other riders while riding. Maybe it's better for the focus, like they just focus on the road. Because even if you make a mistake, you don't you don't lose your focus and you keep on. Okay, this is the second sharp corner, this is the second crossroad for now on the island. I'm counting them because I'm looking like how many sharp corners are actually here in the Isle of Man. Because as a, if I... If I'm not wrong, you're literally making a circle, like not not literally a complete circle, or maybe you are. But anyways, I'm looking like where are they finding, uh, where are they actually like making those uh, sharp turns so they actually make a circle, or maybe it's just like the small, the small angle, the small angle. Okay, now I see there are even U-turns and things like that. I remember this U-turn actually from the from the sidecar videos. Like I've seen, I've seen them there. And yeah, he's going so close to the wall. Like, look at this! Look at this! He's so close. And there are photographers in the cana uh, in the channel behind, so <laughs> they are safe. If someone falls, they can just yeet down. Uh, yeah, I would I would really like to see like the professional the professional photographs from these from these events. Like that must that must be cool. And wow, look at the massive building he's having. How is he? How is he managing to control the wheel? Like when you go that up, you you literally can just. It doesn't take much to just turn your, on your back, literally. And he somehow made it. And honestly, like while well, I'm also looking at the scenery because I'm very interested in nature. Like this Isle of Man is definitely a place to visit, even when it's not the TT, like even outside of those two weeks of racing, like this really is the place to visit for many things. It, it looks beautiful. I mean everything looks beautiful when you're going 300 kilometers an hour, but this is truly beautiful. Like look at these long, long roads, look at these landscapes. Wow, wow. And he's kind of, that was a yellow flag because of someone was sitting down there in at the end of the road. Probably a bike broke down. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just mesmerized by by the nature right now. Because the road is kinda empty and I'm just nah this this is I don't know what to say anymore, like really, it's just... Ah, 
this is just getting more and more beautiful, literally. And my mom is calling me right now, I see up there, but... Don't mind me, mom, I'll answer in a moment. <laughs> I'm in my moment right now. And look at the stewards, like, they're having a little... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, marshals, like, they're having just a little house to hide, probably, I don't know. And they're all there with all of the flags and everything. Wow. This is so well organized, like... I'm wondering also, but uh, I've got a lot of comments on the previous videos, like... Uh, the thing that actually bought me, mostly, to Isle of Man and uh, the whole uh, road racing culture is the community, like... You guys are so passionate, like... You just... Um, how can I say... Um, you just share your passion and you and you wake up the passion in other people who are just learning about this like me like wow oh sh okay this was close this was close really <laughs> but truly this this looks like the the riding in a the sunset there is probably nothing there is nothing more pretty than this really Wow, and okay, this is actually the one of the sharpest turns we've had for now. Like, I can't compare it with those two crossroads, but this is sharp. And look at this, he's just going and going and going. And he's probably going even faster now, like, uh, while losing the fuel, because he must have burned a lot of fuel for, for a lap. Like, how much fuel can you burn for a lap? Pro I'm not sure, I, I, I can't say, I have no clue, so, I can't say. <sighs> wow. Okay, this is probably now the end of the lap, yeah? Or... Yeah, it's probably... I mean, I don't have the time, but... It's probably around the time to end the lap now, and... You can see some sharp turns here, and he's probably close to ending, like... Yeah, this is... this is probably around the end now. Like, this is the end of the lap. It was, like, if you said that 18... This is the lap-breaking record. I'm, I'm... I think this is the one, and this was 18 minutes, so... And yeah, it's the end here. Wow, and you're actually ending at... No, it's it's not, actually. You're still going, like... Okay, that was a massive U turn. You're just ending now. Oh, he actually slowed down. Ah, he didn't slow down. He, he, he just couldn't go faster. And okay, 200... I can actually see the speeds now, but... Barely, it's 200. These are the miles, surely. Like, this is not the kilometer one. And this is the final straight probably yeah he's slowing down on a straight this this was the final straight and can we see the lap time this is probably around 18 yeah I mean I know the record this is 18 minutes and now you're just en ending here like walking uh, riding to the pit lane <laughs> I don't know they don't have the pit lane electronics of course they're just casually riding in a first gear Wow Wow, this this was beautiful. You were right. I've seen a lot about Isle of Man, but you were right. I really needed to see it, like the onboard cam, the first person. This was awesome. Like this was a really awesome thing to see. Like I don't know really. Like I'm just getting I'm just getting more and more and more. Ah, uh, it, it's just getting better, like, the more I'm learning about this port, it's just getting better. Thank you so much for, for this suggestion, like, thank you so much, guys, and uh, what can I say, thank you for watching, like, uh, I really enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed uh, reacting, I, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> watching this with me, I know it took a little longer, but it's long video but it's a long lap so it's not my fault I really need to see the whole lap because that's not it if I don't see the whole lap and also yeah uh, tell me if you want to see me lapping Isle of Man in the video game of course 
I am really wondering about how how that would look because I'm riding on a keyboard and yeah, I'm a racing games player on a keyboard for now, but it is what it is. What can I say? Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. What can I say? Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice rest of the day, evening, whatever time, whatever time you're watching. I don't know, really. Stay safe and goodbye.